With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Merion High School in Pennsylvania. A coming out party for the high school kid. Kobe Bryant meeting with the approval of that Charlotte fan in attendance here. And Hubie, this is a guy whose stock has risen every time he's tried out. People like this kid. Well, everyone writing when he first came out, well, he's going to have to bulk up. This guy is 200 pounds at six foot six. He is an offensive whiz. He's very, very talented. He has all pro moves. And when when you you look at him, you're talking about a young man with range. He can go off the dribble. He can get his shot. And in every place that he worked out, nothing but raves. No one talking about any shortness or a weakness in his game. Jerry West told me today that greatness lies ahead for this young man. Thought he was going to be absolutely fantastic. I recruited him out of high school, and certainly I believe everything he said in, in this man's ability. He is just flat out going to be outstanding. It's going to take him a little time, though, because he, he's going from high school, skipping college, into a very physical game. All he did was average 31 points a game his senior year. His team won the state title with 31 wins and three losses, and he eclipsed the... Uh, scoring mark of Will Chamberlain in Pennsylvania. This kid has got it all. Yeah, you get the package, and I think what you like best about him, everyone says that he makes everyone else around him a better player. And he, he's a, a winning style guy. Uh, we, we realize that there's a lot to overcome when you come right out of high school, but if, if anyone has a good chance, this young man is blessed with outstanding offensive skills. His dad, Joe Jellybean Bryant, was the 14th pick when he was selected. Kobe, number 13. Let's go to Craig Sager. Well, Kobe, your dad can tell you about the NBA. You can watch every playoff game on TV. But until you go through the workouts, experience yourself, you don't get that firsthand. What was it like, the tryouts? What did you learn? Well, I learned that you have to work hard and you have to approach the game with a serious mindset. Uh, there's a step up from high school, and I understand that. So, therefore, every time I step on a basketball court, I'm going to put a strong effort out there on the floor. I'm, I'm not going to leave anything on the floor. You had the grades. You had the scores to go to college. Why the NBA? It's the ultimate challenge. You know, if I was 40 years old and I'm sitting back and I'm looking back at my career, if I went to college and played on the NBA, maybe I had a great career, maybe not, and I'm still having that down in my mind, could I have answered that challenge? Could I have responded to the challenge of the NBA? And that's something that I didn't want to have on my, on my shoulders, so I just really accepted it. A year ago, is Kevin Garnett sitting where you are. Have you talked to him? What advice has he given you? Well, he's talked to me. He's told me a lot of stories, a lot of experiences that he was going through. But all in all, he said it has to be your own decision. You know, he said that I, he can give me a lot of pros and cons, but ultimately it has to be my decision. Well, here's a copy of The Sting, the official book of the Charlotte Hornets with your new coach, Dave Cowens, on the cover. Do your homework before you show up at the Hive. Thank you very much. I, I, I'll make sure I will. Right, congratulations, Ernie. <laughs>